a hundred thousand crore rupees R&D and innovation fund has just been launched. And if executed right, this won't just spark a research boom, it will turn India from the world's back office to the world's invention engine. India didn't quietly fund innovation today. It declared war on complacency. A 1 lakh crore rupees, yes, a 100,000 crore rupees R&D and innovation fund has just been launched at ESITIC 2025. And if executed right, this won't just spark a research boom. It will turn India from the world's back office to the world's invention engine. At Bharat Mandapam, PM Modi announced the RDI mission. India's biggest research investment in history. Not grants, not speeches, capital for high-risk, high-reward innovation. His pitch was this, ease of doing research, end of quote. Not just ease of doing business, ease of building the future. If Startup India was phase one, this is deep tech India. From labs to markets to global play. Why is actually this different? Well, for the first time ever, one like crore rupees fund managed through professional fund managers targeting deep tech, semiconductors, bioenergy, AI, designed to accelerate private research and development. This isn't subsidy money. This is sovereign venture capital. Think DARPA meets UPI playbook. Risk capital at national scale. Innovation as statecraft. Modi didn't sell vision today. He sold velocity. R&D spending doubled patents up by 17 times. ISRO launched its heaviest satellite yesterday. 6,000 plus D-Tech startups. And for now, the bioeconomy. $10 billion to $140 billion. 43% of STEM seats are women. One crore students tinkering in 10,000 labs to scaling to, well, 25,000. Clearly, this is new India data. India is building Vixit Bharat Valley from chips to crops, from AI to clean energy, from moon missions to biotechnology. We are actually shifting from import dependent to innovation independent. That makes us proud. DPI was phase one, digital rates. RDI is phase two, deep tech horsepower. And yes, AI wasn't a side note. India is actually shaping ethics, access and guardrails before others do. Global AI Summit, February 2026, promises 10,000 crore rupees. India AI mission in motion. This wasn't a government event. It actually felt like, well, a national kickoff call. Scientists, startups, fund managers, founders, not just clapping from the sidelines, but being invited to the steering wheel. When science meets scale, when innovation becomes inclusive, when technology drives transformation, great achievements are born, end quote. That was said by Prime Minister Modi. For once, it didn't sound like a speech, it sounded like a roadmap. This is a message and it's clear to the world. India is not here to assemble your future, we are here actually to invent our own. To Indian innovators, you don't need to leave to build big. We'll build big here with you. To the next generation, stop dreaming of Silicon Valley. Start building Bharat's Silicon Galaxy. If UPI rewrote payments and if India AI rewrites AI access, the RDI mission might just rewrite who invents the future. For right now, we'll take a small little break. When we are back on front page, well, we will be front, sorry, forward and, sorry, front and center.